We're about to jump on a little baby fishing boat. We are going through some serious, serious seas under here. Head three hours into the middle of nowhere. Let's go. That storm's coming in hot. I need to get out of here. Oh, this is getting hectic. Oh my God, I'm shaking. All right, we have 100% got a fish on. We are not going hungry tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, we are going on a solo camping mission. And when I say we, I mean you and me. We're going on a solo camping mission. But to keep it a little bit OG, we've got absolutely no food and we've got limited water. I've got one bottle of water. So it's gonna be fun. This is what I like doing the most is coming out here with absolutely no food. To be honest, I am starving right now. I could eat the ass out of a low flying duck. So I'm really, really hungry but we have a massive, massive punch up the coast here to get to where I want to sleep. I'm not too sure what it's going to look like. There's a little bit of swell around, so a bit of a walk ahead of us to find, finally get to the rocks and then we'll see what it's like when we get there. But definitely, definitely need to try to somehow put some fish on the fire or some kind of a bush tucker. Who knows? I've got absolutely no plans right now, but all I know is that we're going camping. We don't have any food and it's going to be a hell time. Straight off the bat. All right, so we've been walking for about, I don't know, 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and straight off the bat, come across this massive, I don't know what you, you can call it, a crop, call it what you want. There's a massive crop of goat's foot here. Now, we've eaten this on the, we've eaten this before, but there's a lot of new people, and this could probably come in handy one day, but that flower there is a completely edible flower. This is the first thing I'm gonna eat all day. Doesn't really taste like, a little bit of a taste to it, doesn't really taste like too much, but these leaves are edible and so is the root. So probably got about a 45 minute walk that way to get where we want to sleep tonight. But um, look, if I do starve, because it is extremely hard fishing here, as you guys would know, we can come back here and we can, um, we can eat this goat's foot. We can eat the flowers, we can eat the roots, we can eat the leaves. So if we are starving, we'll come back to this little crop of goat's foot behind me there. And um, that's a little bit of a food source there. Little bit of nature bush tucker. Righto. <laughs> okay, so this is originally where I wanted to stay tonight. This is where I was gonna be. Originally I wanted to fish along this ledge here. Set up the tent on these epic rocks in the background behind the camera, I'll show you in a minute, but um it's so sketchy. Every now and then you get these massive waves that just come right up, like they're pushing right up against this cliff here. So I'm gonna have to make a plan B. This is a, probably the most fun part about being out in nature. Nothing goes to plan. You can never really plan anything when you're doing something like this, but this is way, way, way too sketchy to be camping by myself here. There's waves that are coming like way, way, way up here. So I'm gonna have to make a plan B, but this would have been a really good place to camp. We would have slept up here on these little pebbly rocks like this. Super flat, very comfortable. And then fished all afternoon and all night off these rocks here. But every now and then there's a big wave that comes and it literally is washing all the way up along the flat cliff there. So this is way too sketchy. All right, so while I go find a different place to fish and a different place to sleep tonight, I'm gonna grease on some clips from not yesterday, but the day before. We went out on a fishing mission. It was a midnight fishing mission. It was gnarly, it was insane, but the reason that I'm here right now is to redeem myself or I won't be able to sleep for the rest of the week. So it'll all make sense soon. I'll grease those clips on now, enjoy. And by the time you watch that, hopefully we found somewhere to fish, sleep and gather a bit of food for tonight. So enjoy those clips, I'll grease them on now. Yo. It's 1.45 in the morning. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's nearly two o'clock in the morning and we are going to do something so epic, something that I've wanted to do for a bloody, bloody long time. And that is head that way into the abyss, into the middle of nowhere. That's what we're doing. We're about to jump on a little baby fishing boat, head three hours into the middle of nowhere to a spot we've been before. We've been to this spot fishing before, but never have we been at night or early in the morning like this. So the aim of the game is to um, head out there. We're going to be out there at about two o'clock now we should be there two hours before sunrise ish give or take we're gonna be i'm here with andy so andy's gonna be popping lures 
I'm gonna be jigging and um, we're just gonna see what we get. It's gonna be bloody interesting. It's gonna be bloody fun. And um, look, to be honest with you, I'm a little bit scared because Andy just told me that yesterday the boys went out there and they rolled, one of the boats actually rolled because the tides are so big, you get these big rough seas. And one of the boats rolled, they lost all their fishing gear and luckily there was another boat out there to pick them up, to save them, and to pick them up out of the water and save them. So we're going out there today. There are no other boats coming with us. We've got no technology. There is no technology on these boats. We don't have any life vests. So um, I'm trying to scrap up a life vest, but it's two o'clock in the morning. There's no one around and a um, little bit sketchy, but it makes it that little bit more exciting. And um, well, I'm bloody excited for this one. So let's go, let's dig in. Um, I don't know, I've had too many coffees. I'm just, brrr, biz, I'm buzzing right now. So let's start fishing. Look at this thing, mate. This is our boat for the day, for the morning. It's all set up, ready to go. Straight out there. That's it, we're out of here. Let's go, doggy. <laughs> Here we go. Into the darkness. This is gonna be interesting. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh my God, all right. You definitely wouldn't want to be claustrophobic because <laughs> this is so funny. <laughs> I am, I don't even know if you guys can see this, there is no room in here. But I am laying on the bottom of the boat and the, the roof is up here somewhere. So this is what I'm dealing with right now. Because we've got about a two and a half hour drive ahead of us, we're just gonna sleep. So I've got the bottom bunk, which is here. I've got water dripping all over me and then I've got Andy sleeping. Literally Andy is sleeping right here. I could probably poke him in the ass if I do this. So um, look. This is what it's all about, the adventure and doing dumb fun shit like this is just so rad. It's just gone two o'clock in the morning and um, I am absolutely fizzing right now. So <laughs> this is just sick, isn't it? Look at this, man. It's not every day you get to sleep in the bottom of a bloody boat, is it? All right, I'll see you guys on location. You. <laughs> I'm getting water all over me. <sighs> salty little sea cabin it's um i haven't slept one well i haven't even slept this much but um it's good fun under here it must be either raining we're going through some serious 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 storms or old mate up here is pissing on me because i am soaking wet down here it's just gone it's just gone four o'clock in the morning so We've been laying down here for nearly two hours. We must be getting real close to where we want to fish today. And um, it's kind of freaky that I can't get out of here because he's, uh, I think he's sleeping. I don't know what he's doing. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, it's pretty fun, but uh, look, it's four o'clock in the morning, so we've, we've got to be really close by now. We've gone through some pretty pretty rough sort of, I'm just bouncing like this, boom, boom, some rough seas, but um, look good times and I think we're, we're gonna be getting close for sure. We'll have a little bit of a cheeky barista session while we're driving on the boat. Check this out. Yeah doggies. This is either gonna be a really smart or a really really dumb idea. This is boiling hot coffee. Oi. 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 Alright that'll do. Look at that. How good is this? Four o'clock in the morning, haven't slept a wink, don't need to sleep because we got coffee. This is killer. Oh. Good. We're here? Yeah. Whee. Oh yeah, baby, look at it. All right, we have arrived on destination. It is nearly 4.30 in the morning. 
I've just had a glass of coffee. I spilt it everywhere and it was absolutely bloody beautiful. So it's time to start fishing. Alrighty doggies, this is what's going on. We've been here for about, I don't know, it's about, we've been here for about an hour and a half. I don't know if you can see that sun is just starting to pop up now. So what I've been doing, I've been throwing this jig around. I've been dropping this jig down. It sort of glows in the dark. It's a pretty, wait a minute, I'll show you. That's what it looks like, glows in the dark. Oh yeah, you, you might be able to see that sun coming up now. Um, yeah, we've been fishing for about an hour and a half. No one's got anything at all. Um, I think it's about time for having a little bit of a, another coffee and then um, we'll just see what happens when this sun comes up. There's a massive storm brewing over here, so who knows what's gonna happen, but uh, look, it's pretty bloody good out here. All we need one in one fish to smoke this thing and I'll be so stoked, so. Come on, big dogs, where you at? mission that sun has completely come up now and um, we still ain't got no fish on the deck but we're not gonna stop trying it's windy it's rough we got coffee and um, what else could what else do you really need in life really only one fish on the deck that would be really good all right we are getting serious now changing over, I'm putting a popper on. This is a big, dirty, disgusting, pink, beautiful looking popper. I'm gonna start flicking that around, the jig wasn't working. No one has got anything, no touches, no looks, no sniffs, nothing. So um, let's see if we can get something on the surface with this popper. Hopefully we can bring one up. Woo. Let's get it. been fishing since pitch black we've been fishing the whole entire day we haven't had one fish hit there's been another three boats fishing here as well they've got nothing so it's just like one of those days where the ocean is just turned off so um we're calling it i've been fishing ultralight i've been fishing the surface i've been fishing with jigs the boys have been both popping hard and um just nothing it's just one of those days where the ocean just turns off so we've got no fish me and Andy are tired as dogs because we have had no sleep and um, <laughs> it's actually pretty, I'm actually that tired that I'm like delirious, I keep like just, uh, my face probably looks like a half sucked grape right now, looks like I've been in a fight or something but um, puffy eyes, happy salty face and um, it's all good bruh, we're heading in, we got no fish but it was still fun, so I'll see you guys whenever I see you. <laughs> How was that for a bloody failed fishing mission? So that is the exact reason why I'm out here right now. I'm trying to redeem myself from that fishing mission. We put in a lot of time, a lot of casting, and we got absolutely, not even like one fish had a sniff. Both Andy and I, we just looked like, our heads were just like bashed crabs. Like my eyes were hanging out of my head. I just felt like an absolute bucket of dirt, but it was fun, it was, it was worth it, but I got home, I had a big sleep, I woke up and I said to my chick, yo, I need to go out and catch a fish or I'm not gonna be able to sleep all week. So, we're back here, we're on the rocks. I still haven't found a place to sleep tonight, but I am stopping at this spot here. There's a massive storm brewing in the background over there. Every single place I've been to this, uh, ooh, hear that thunder? Ooh, ooh, she's coming. Every single place that I've been to today, the swell's too big to sleep, the swell's too big to fish. So this is a nice, protected little cove in here. So this is probably where I'm gonna fish, but there is absolutely nowhere to sleep here. This is pretty much what it looks like. It's just crazy granite, these sharp rocks. There is not one little flat section to sleep. So what we're gonna do, we'll fish here for a little while, and then we'll, um, we'll go sleep back up way around the corner there where we found those nice flat rocks. I found something when I was walking on the beach to get here. A fishing float, which we're not gonna use, but it's just this poxy little fishing float and we found this ball of fluff. 
I'm gonna put this fluff on a bit of line, bit of sinker, super basic rig, and we'll um, I don't know. Hopefully, we, hopefully it gets us a long time. Fingers crossed. All right, we have 100% got a fish on. We have actually got a fish on. <laughs> yeah, doggies. This is about 10 casts. Not even joking. Look at this thing go. Absolutely smoked that bit of fabric I found on the rocks. Have a look at this. We have, this is probably about the 10th cast and we've got ourselves a beautiful long time. I am starving, so this is not gonna go, this is not going back. We are gonna eat this, but that is a beautiful little long time. You can see how that, how that material that I found on the beach there has completely wrapped up around his, his beak or his mouth or whatever you wanna call it, but he was not getting off anytime soon. That is a beautifully caught fish on a bit of rubbish I just found on the bloody beach. And um, look, I'm gonna see if I can get one more and then we are gonna get out of here because look at this storm. We've got a massive storm. Look at that big thing in the background. Big black storms coming our way. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. We're not going hungry. We are definitely not going hungry. I managed to salvage a little bit of that string. So we'll see if we can get one more. We got that one just in that section. Just out there. Nice little twitches on the retrieve. Bang, bang, bang. Always works. All right, let's send one out here. Whoosh! It's got to really be careful of these waves here because um, it's a little bit crazy right now. Oh, that's another fish. No, that wasn't a long tom. That was something different. That was not a long tom. That swell is picking up. There is no way we can sleep here. Oh, this is getting hectic. I need to get out of here. Dude, I nearly lost my fish, my shoes, the GoPro. Look, the waves are coming right up here. Oh, I need to get out of here. This is getting hectic. And that storm's coming in hot, look at it. Oh. We are not fishing over there anymore. Two waves came in and nearly took my bag, nearly took our dinner. And um, it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger as the afternoon goes on. Like, this is where we started before. This is where I was originally gonna sleep on these little pebbles. Like, look at these things, man. This would make a power good bedroom, but you know what, I'm gonna walk back, all the way back to where we were on the beach where we started today and um, I'm just gonna go back there. We'll sleep on the beach. Probably got about an hour and a half of sunlight left so we'll go set up the tent on the sand because look, sleeping on this here is gonna be, sand is always better and we'll get a bomber sunset on that side too so that's what we'll do. All right, this is where I reckon we'll sleep. This is looking so much more juicy than the last place was. Make sure that reel doesn't go in the sand. Look at this. Nice, flat, little bit of sand here. The only problem is, is this. Obviously, something is going on in the ocean out there. There is some sort of a swell churning up or whatever, but you can see here, this is where these waves, they come up. They're coming up to this height here, all the way <laughs> up into here. And tonight, I'm probably gonna be sleeping about right there, so hopefully i know the tide's going out but we have an outgoing tide so we should be sweet but you just never ever know look we've got a fish i am so so bloody pumped that we've got that fish because i'm hungry man and we've got a fish to cook for dinner so that's really sick but i might set up the tent now I'll just quickly pop it up and then um i'm gonna fish along this beach i've got no idea what it's like fishing here never fished here before but you just gotta try these things so let's go set up this tent and then we'll try fishing straight behind me there Hopefully we get something big. Let's go. Boom, just like that. We've got ourselves a five star hotel. I'm gonna put a blow up mattress in here. I'm gonna put my pillow in here and um, it's gonna be bloody good times. All right, I reckon. What we'll do, 
We'll chuck all the stuff we don't need in here. I'm gonna try to keep fishing for a little while, see if we can get one more fish for dinner. But I mean, that fish that we've got is, that's more than enough, but I wanna have a big feed. I have had nothing to eat all day. Had very little water and um, <laughs> that fish is gonna be good. But let's throw around a little 10 gram lure, like a tiny, maybe 10, eight grams. See if we can get something like a little tuna or a little, little baby trevally. Woo, that'll be good, so. Anyway, we're looking good. Tent is set up, fishing gear's here, and um, let's do it. Let's go, one more little bit of dinner. Oh, that goes so far. Ooh. Sweet! Sweet! Come on. Push! All right, we had a crack. We had a red hot crack, but um, I don't know. We're racing time right now. So what I want to do, I want to go collect a bit of wood. We'll start up a fire and um, we'll cook this fish. I've got my gas cooker in my bag, but um, everything tastes better cooked on a fire. So that's what we'll do. We'll try to gather up some wood if we can find some dry wood. I'm always chewing on fishing line. I don't know why it's like a thing that I do and I always like nearly swallow it when I talk. But anyway, let's go collect some firewood and um, <laughs> we've got a long time for dinner, doggies. <laughs> yeah, this is what it's all about. Getting a fish on a piece of rubbish, man. I found that rubbish like just up the coast, just up there. And we got a fish with it. That's insane. All right, I'm just gonna load all of this wood that I have onto the fire because we wanna have a bed of coals. Obviously we're cooking fish. So we're not using this fire for anything else except for cooking. And then obviously a lovely night's bloody sleep with a fire next to me, but I'm gonna load it up. Once it's loaded up with wood, we'll go clean that fish up. Look at that, mate. <laughs> Look at it. I honestly thought I was going to be eating oysters and snails for dinner, so this in a long time makes me very bloody happy because we've got fish for dinner, sleeping in a tent, big storm brewing over my shoulder, but I'm not too sure if that storm's coming this way, but you can hear the thunder, the lightning, it's like craziness. Just like that, she is clean as a whistle. So since I've been in Bali, what I've noticed is that these fish, long tom, they are everywhere because, purely because, people can't catch them with a hook. Or you can catch them with a hook, but it's very hard to catch these fish with a hook. And the reason behind that is the structure of this fish's mouth. So you can see its mouth here. Obviously there is nowhere for a hook to penetrate. That is rock hard. That's just bone. It's rock hard bone all the way around here. So when it comes up, when they come through, when you're spinning lures, little lures, these things are always going whack. They're hitting it, but they're not actually hooking up because there's not really a lot of area in here for the fishes, for the hook to set. And that's why using this cotton or any kind of, any kind of cotton is so effective because you can see those little pin teeth. So many pin teeth. And as soon as they hit it, as soon as they bite it, they hit it, they have a little snip. It gets tangled around them and um, bang, you're pretty much straight on. But we'll rip these scales off and we're just going to chuck him straight on the coals over our little grill. <laughs> How good. Just make sure the tent isn't on fire. Here's our grill and our fire is looking beautiful, but this storm has other ideas for our fire for sure. One there, one there, and it is easy as that. No salt, no pepper. None of the good stuff. This is as good as it gets. You don't need that stuff right now. That is absolutely pumping out a lot of heat. I'm gonna try to keep this little fire on the back here going so I can keep pushing coals across if we need it. But look at that, mate. That is looking really good. I just went for a little bit of a walk down the beach there. Found another little bit of treasure. Unfortunately, that back hook's been snapped off or bitten off by a fish, but um, that's a pretty dope little lure. Keep that for a memory, you never know. Might get something on that one day. 
This big pile of wood is about to bloody take off. That's going to ignite any second. And our fish is looking absolutely beautiful. So I've just turned it about, I don't know, two minutes ago. And um, look at it. Yeah, that's got a lot longer to go. Slow cooked, very slow cook. Absolutely beautiful. Yeah, have got to be kidding me. Yep, it's raining. Excuse my camera if it gets water on it because right now it is actually, it is raining a lot. So, I don't know, we've got this storm coming over. It's been slowly coming over all day, but have a go at this, would ya? Beautiful, 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 freshest fish ever. Does not get much fresher than this. This should just peel off the bone. Oh my goodness, have a go at this. We just want that part. Look at that, white, beautiful goodness. Oh, hey. <laughs> that is what it's all about. Ah, smoke them all, huh? That's really good. These fish have a lot of little bones in them. But if you know where to pick the meat from, you can pretty much clean the whole fish, get all the meat out and um, enjoy a beautiful dinner like this. Look at that, man. It's like the most whitest, most beautiful meat. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to finish this, finish this whole section. And then um, by the time I do that, it'll pretty much be dark. And if anything dope happens during the night, obviously I'll, I'll wake up and I'll record it. If not, See you guys in the morning for coffee time. Holy shit! Oh my god! Can you see what this is? Oh my god, I'm shaking. Look at this. A wave just came up the beach just then. Completely dusted my whole entire camp. Look at this, man. It's burning my tent. No. Oh my God. That's psycho. That's unbelievable. All right, I've got to change places where I'm camping. What is that, man? That's hot as. No way. There's charcoal under the tent, man. That was a hot ember a couple of minutes ago. Luckily, the wave put it out. All right. And I was charging my GoPro too. Damn it. All right, I'm going to pack up everything in here and then we're going to shoot up the coast a little bit to dry ground. So, lesson learned, Matt. Don't sleep so close to the ocean. And just before I said, you can see the tide lines come up here. Oh, but it's low tide. Bow, bow. Oh, well. It's fun anyway. <laughs> that is just, that's insane, man. I just, probably an hour ago, I finished eating that fish, stocked up the fire, the rain stopped. It's too early to sleep, so I was just walking down the beach, like, chucking my headlight on, looking at the little crabs, going through the rubbish that gets washed up on the beach. And then I just heard, heard this, like, boom! It's like big wave, like a proper wave. And I'm like, what the heck? And you can see the white water coming up the coast, and I was like, ooh, that's going to be close to the tent. And then the next one just was like, boom! Like a big wave. And I'm like, oh, shit, leg it up here. And I just got here in time to, like, lift up the tent and all the water went underneath the tent. And um, yeah, that was very, very close, man. I had my GoPro charging. I had everything in the tent. So we ain't sleeping here tonight, that's for sure. Good bloody morning to you. How good is this, man? I've been up since, since pitch black. I've, <laughs> I started fishing so long ago, but um, I've just been waiting for that sun to, that sun to pop its head up so I could start filming and um, it is a beautiful morning right now. Check this out. So this is where I had to set up the tent before we were way down there, really close to the water. So I come up here last night. We sat up here way, way, way away from the water this time, but that sun has just popped its beautiful head up. I've just been walking around flicking this little lure, this little baby minnow, but we haven't had any luck yet. I'm hoping to go back onto those rocks today, but first things first, 
coffee is in the corner of the tent and then um, we'll head up there and start fishing but look at this what a beautiful way to start the day absolutely beautiful the goal is catch a fish for breakfast catch a fish for lunch if I can do that that means we've caught fish for dinner breakfast lunch Shit. that's unheard of on this channel we don't do these kinds of things so uh, hopefully oh yeah I've been waiting for this since I fell asleep actually ooh, ooh, ooh. look at that that is what it's all about right there oh this is something that I love the most man is waking up and listen just listen to this ready that's so, all I can hear is birds and waves man birds waves and the smell of a coffee in my opinion there is no better way to start a day than this and I just say I just seen a fish absolutely launch out of the water just there. So, um, that thing actually flew. All right, I'm gonna smash this coffee. I'm gonna go for a little bit of walk, walk along the beach and then um, finish this coffee and then we'll pack up the tent and see if we can go get ourselves a little bit of brekkie. Oh, there it is. That's a fish straight off the bat. Yeah, the boys up here are frothing. <laughs> Pass off. Second cast of the morning. <laughs> Doing the damage. So I'm just throwing this. Like, this is no bullshit, right? I know you can think you watch videos and it's like, first cast, I get a fish. But that was second cast of the morning using this or second cast of the morning on the rocks. Obviously this morning on the beach, I got nothing. But as soon as we come to the rocks, using this little bloody diving, this little bait, just twitching it. Second cast, have a go at this. Oh, we got another snake fish. Yesterday we got, this is what we had for dinner and we just got another one. How good is this man? I'm gonna let this one go, he can fight another day. I've literally just had a coffee. I don't need to eat breakfast right now, but that was, a, man, these are a lot of fun. They jump out of the water and I'm using I'm using four pound gear, so it's a super, super light line, and um, these things put up a sick fight, but this one looks like, a, this must be a male or a female, because it's a lot different than the one we got yesterday. It's a shorter nose, it's a stubbier nose, or a stubbier mouth, and um, that was epic, mate. I'm gonna let this one go. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna let this crocodile go, and we'll um, see what else we can get. It was a bloody good start to the morning. <laughs> See you later, you beautiful thing. Oosh. And he's gone. <laughs> what a way to start the day. Second cast, boom, long tom on the little lure. That was super fun. They're actually a sick fish to catch. As soon as they, soon as they get here hooked, they are jumping, they're launching out of the water. It's super fun, but I had two more casts over there and I wanted to come to where we were yesterday. So I'm where we are yesterday. Does that make sense? I am now where we were fishing yesterday and um, it's unfishable. Unfortunately, it is a sea of plastic out here. I'm not sure if you guys can see because it's probably super glary, but all the way along here where my finger is, it's just a line of plastic and seaweed going all the way along there. It's 50% seaweed, 50% plastic. That makes me sick, man. Look at it. Big line of plastic and obviously, the tide is low right now, so it's all stuck against the rocks. Once that current starts pushing, that's gonna get taken all the way down there and out to sea and probably to float around in the ocean for the next 50 years. So I can't fish here right now. It's just a big line of bed, bed of plastic and seaweed. So that is disgusting, mate. I'm gonna have to walk back up to where we just got that fish, fish there until the tide turns. And then, um, I don't know, we'll make up our mind. But yeah, I'll punch back up that way. <laughs> can you hear these bloody boats man every time one of these cargo ships come in they're just like on their horn and it's so loud i don't know if you guys can hear it or not but 
when they pass each other, they like speak to each other. They're like, oh, 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 oh. It's actually really funny. So, what I'm, <laughs> what I'm doing, I'm just sitting here. I'm going to wait for this. Well, I'm not going to wait. I'm going to start fishing a different way because there's a lot of rubbish floating around out here. And it's, we have so long until the tide moves. It's only 9.30 and um, I can see Long Tom out there and I've been casting that same little lure, this little beast here. I've been flicking this lure at them. They're chasing it, but they're not aggressively smashing it. So I'm just pulling apart this, that same fabric from yesterday. We can probably make one there. If I join these up, there's probably another one there. I've already tied this one onto a bit of line. So we've got a fair bit of little bits of fabric here that we can fish with to catch Long Tom, have a little bit of fun. Like they're super fun to catch. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna put this back on and just have a little little bit of fun with some long time until this water sort of clears up. I don't really have a plan today what we're doing, but not really hungry, so I'm not I'm not starving to catch something, but it'll just be fun. Long time is super fun to catch, and I did see a big dog this morning. Like, he would have been about that round, like nearly probably about a metre long. So if we can catch that on this light gear, hoo -hoo, that's going to be super fun. So... I'm gonna change it up. We're gonna chuck this little skirt on and see if we can get a long tom. We'll just have a little flick off of this rock. Just gotta keep super cautious because there are waves around still. But this looks like it drops off really deep here. So this could be a good little, good little zone. We'll give this lure a couple of little twitches. See how we go. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Plastic. Makes me feel absolutely sick. Whoosh! That's... Ah, come on! Oi, 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 oi. What's going on here? We've got another bit of plastic. I am so over this. I'm done! That's it, it's over. So we've been fishing. I've been casting this, what we made before for quite a while now. We've had absolutely no luck, but somehow this that has no hooks still is catching plastic. This is probably about, I'm not even joking about the 15th piece of plastic. My pockets were both full with plastic like this. So I am done, I'm over it. I'm gonna go and um, we're gonna go eat some fair dinkum true bush tucker because there is i'm just not fishing here anymore it's like that there's just this line of plastic and weed and wood and shit in the water 50 percent of it's plastic and i'm just catching this maybe every 10 to 15 casts i cast to catch a bag and this doesn't even have hooks on it so imagine if i was using hooks probably every five casts i'd be catching a bag so pack up the rod get the knife out and we'll go um we'll go grazing on the rocks Oh, look at this thing. That is what I'm talking about right there. It's oyster time because we don't catch any fish, so, uh... Oh, it's been a while. Oh, there's that taste again. I've missed that taste. Oh, I really, really got to watch my back here because, um, that swell's picking up like there's no tomorrow. But there's a couple of beautiful oysters in here. Just gotta get him. Ah, oh, yeah, baby. Have a look at this thing. <laughs> Little baby. That's a tiny one. But nonetheless, it is that beautiful little bit of a little bit of a smoko taste. Oh, that's so good. So if you guys are new to the channel, what we do is if we don't catch fish. We eat oysters, so pretty much 99% of the time we eat oysters and well, they're bloody beautiful. They're one of my favorite things to eat, but um, oysters, oysters are a filter feeder. So it just got me thinking, like I literally just thought about this before, like oysters don't run around on the rocks and pick up and they can't catch fish. They just sit there and they filter the water they live in. So whatever comes in that water, they filter that, that's what they feed on. With all the plastic that's out in that water, 100% I guarantee you these oysters will be having some kind of microplastics or some kind of bad side effect of that plastic out there and um, that's all we're eating for morning tea we're eating oysters so uh, 
you can't really get away from this plastic problem, which really, really sucks, but it is what it is. You just gotta live with it and um, hopefully we can do something about it in the future. But for now, I'm gonna go eat a couple of plastic, plastic infested oysters because ain't no fish out there with all that plastic. Look at that. That's what it's all about, a big ball of tasty snot. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, you gotta be so cautious on these rocks. Mm, that was a tasty one. There's another little beauty. All right, I'm just gonna go along these rocks and feed myself on oysters because that's the last, Ooh, that's, a, that's a little bit of a wave coming. Because um, that's last resort, that's all we can do now. So that's it from me doggies. We got two fish. I made up for that night of fishing where we got nothing and um, that's what it's all about. I had a sick time, I hope you did too. I'm just gonna go walk along here, fill myself up on oysters, and um, thank you for watching, much love, and of course, I'll see you in the next one. Yeah, doggies. Oh. Let's go. Camping, fishing, sleeping, something, fishing. Trying to, um, obviously, oh my God. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me. <laughs> Fully just smacked myself in the face. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. We are going to do a solo survival. We are going on a solo camping mission. This is it, baby. So, yeah, we're going on a little bit of a quick update. It is 4.04 in the morning, so I've been down. Oh, shit. It's so rough under here, man. It's 4.04. Oh. <laughs> we are going through some serious, serious seas under here. Set up, we'll set up tent, we'll set up All right, it's a super crazy storm, Stop, start to I can't even speak English, eh? Oh, I'm just gonna go through here. Oh, 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 That's more like it. That is a big juicy oyster, that one. That is beautiful. Oh. 